Hello fellow naturals and YouTubers, this is Angela D. Angelic Messenger. Yeah, I'm still working with this camera, trying to get it right. Um, but, as you can see, I, I thought today I'd try to put some conditioner, some homemade conditioner on top of my hair. Um, this is day two because I washed my hair yesterday. And I started in the back, in the back, the bottom, the bottom back is really dry. And I'll show it to you. Find the camera. There it is. <laughs> the bottom here. I don't know if you can see it. It's completely dry and it curls right up. So after I did that side, <laughs> I went on and I, I did this side and it's still wet or damp. It's not wet, wet. It's just damp. And it's soft and springy. And I'm going to start, I haven't started on this side yet, but I did this part, and as you can tell, my hair kind of grows a little, it grows out and the back grows down. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't really want to cut it. I don't want to disturb it yet because I said I wasn't going to cut it into a style for um, a couple of years. And it's already been two and a half years, but I still don't want to cut it. But um, I'm going to show you what I did. I made some organic leave-in conditioner just for, you know, uh, warmer weather. And I worked on part of the hair. I'm going to get up close so you can see. That sometimes happens with my formula. <laughs> because it's homemade. Because it's homemade, um, sometimes the consistency is not perfect. But as you can tell, after um, two and a half years, of making my own conditioner and stuff it still works great for my hair so I just take some and put it on the entire length of the hair now, I, I didn't put ooh, much of a detangler in this because I, I kind of ran out of ingredients for the detangler but it gets the job done And so, so it's kind of what I've been doing. This is the hair before. Um, and also, I did the top right here. I did this part already. And it's completely dry. So, I'm just working on this section right here. has a tendency to be thick somewhat um, or maybe dense not sure but it's a lot in in a small space so I can you know pick up what seems to be plenty of product but it won't hit all the strands even if I have a small amount so it's probably the density of my hair my hair is dense I'm not dense, but my hair is. <laughs> okay. Now, I didn't comb this at all because I didn't think that was a good idea. But, 
I'm done. Not quite done. Because I, I didn't really saturate my hair or make it soaking wet. I just put in plenty of it on there. So... That's what my ends look like. Gorgeous natural curls. The ingredients I put in my um, conditioner. Things like aloe vera. Some water. And some other ingredients. I don't really want to tell it all. I'm a little selfish I guess. Because I like to think that at some point I'll be able to sell this stuff. On the market so uh, sorry I keep moving around but I'm trying to sit up higher but I can't okay so this is the dry side well a little damp it's a little damp and here it is close and this side is wet so it'll dry up to about there my hair shrinks. Let's see, this is where it's stopping. And this is where it actually is. So, I would say I get probably close to 50% shrinkage. Okay, here's the top, it's already done. eventually do and look at that isn't that beautiful I just love it and some people are saying don't say curl definition I don't know what to call it it's my hair I'm enhancing the texture uh, to a point that I like to see a curl because my hair is um wavy extremely wavy i get those uh what they call money waves when i put my hair back in a um when i put my hair back in a bun and i really love it because it's just beautiful but so these waves there once they get together they really do have a party so i'm going to come back later and let you see how it looks I would like to like get my hair really really big but I'm worried that if I get it really big then um, it's gonna get tangled that's why I don't do twists I don't do braids I don't do that stuff one because to me that's an awful lot of manipulation two because mm, I think I'm kind of tender-headed, and I don't like all that braiding and stuff. I've tried it. I've tried it. I can do... Now, my hair does really well with finger waves or finger coils. But that's something I just don't do either. <laughs> I've been wearing... I've been rocking the same hairstyle for like mm, probably three years, just... Two and a half years, just so my hair can grow out. And I'm not ready to stop wearing that, but I am ready to make just a slight change and let my hair down a little more. And so here's the back again. See, my hair kind of goes up and down. So I don't know what's going to come of it, but I think it'll turn out really cute. It'll probably just be... It'll, more than likely, it'll probably be a afro, which is cool, because I can live with that, too. I think those afros are super cute. Super cute. 
If I don't like it, you'll see it back in a bun. Or maybe I'll show it to you and then put it back in a bun. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Angelic Messenger. And remember, natural hair rocks.